So, uh, Mabel, WWDC is like something attended by people like Marcus Brownlee, Technical Guruji, and several other top developers ac across the world. Yeah. Uh, and WWDC scholarship is, if, you, if for the viewers, if you don't know what WWDC scholarship is, then uh, Apple chooses some students across the world who have developed like great applications and gives them a sponsored trip to the US, to the conference, that's everything right. is taken care of and that's the way of rewarding uh, all these great developers. And he was one of the very few uh, people to receive that prestigious scholarship. So Mehul, tell us how you received it and uh, what app did you make and if some of our viewers want to apply for the scholarship, how they can go about it. So the way I did it is that Apple uh, has this event in June, uh -huh. in the month of June, some, okay. sometime in the first week of June, and they open a competition four months before that, somewhere mm -hmm. in March, mm -hmm. right? So what they would do is they would give you a topic and 10 days to create something around it. Uh -huh. For this time, it was more like you have to create something creative using Swift Playgrounds, which is like one of the technology Apple uses on their yeah. iPads, yeah. and Xcode Playgrounds. And you have to just create something which they can experience in under three minutes. That was the whole topic. Mm -hmm. So now you can be as creative as you want. You know, there were submissions which were like crazy innovative. Mm -hmm. Some submissions were like very straightforward. Mm -hmm. But Apple considers like your technical accomplishment, mm -hmm. your creativity of idea, your code quality factors like these. So they oh. take in account stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I used augmented reality mm -hmm. to create a playground book. Okay. which allows you as an end user mm -hmm. to simulate a solar system on a tabletop or any surface you can find in real world. Oh, so okay. basically it's a book that means it has chapters and pages. Mm -hmm. So pages, those chapters take you through a certain, you know, a certain path, a certain journey where you uh -huh. start off by, you know, just locating a plane, just putting in a star, then you create a star planning system, mm -hmm. then you move, uh, move towards creating a stable solar system at the end of the chapter. Oh, okay. So, so it yeah. uses AR and replicates the entire solar system on Absolutely. any uh, plane surface. Surface. That's amazing. I hope. I think it required a lot of math on your part. It did, but Apple provided like a lot of APIs for the 3D stuff out uh -huh. of the box. So okay. it really helped. Amazing. Apart and from that, tell us about the amazing people you met at WWDC. Yeah, there were a lot of people from a lot of cultures, a lot of backgrounds. Yeah. So there were a lot of people who were like under 15, 14, 13 year old people, oh. children who were attending that and it was really what inspiring. What country were they from? They were from all over the world. I mean, from India itself, uh, there was a girl who was 14. Insane. Yeah. And there was this guy who was 15. So they were in like 9th and 10th grade and they were oh. the scholars there. So, I mean like, we guys didn't even know about WWDC till exactly, now. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And these guys are like 14, 15 years old and they are mm -hmm. still rocking it. So, I mean, yeah, the future is yeah. great. Yeah, and we saw pictures with great people. Did you meet Tim Cook? No, this time we didn't get to meet him. I don't know why he did not show up for scholars. Oh, okay. Usually, in the, all the events in the past, he used to come up for oh, the scholars. You met, you met Marcus Brownlee? Yeah, I did. And Technical Guru? Yeah. And who else? Right. Uh, uh, I just seen. Oh. Okay. And uh, uh, there were a couple of more people I don't remember. I saw the video in which you were teaching Bhangra to Americans. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, cool. Uh, so if our viewers want to apply for it, then what should they do? So What's the uh, next one? Basically what Apple focuses on is the technology which they release usually in this in this September October season. Mm -hmm. So this time what they have done is they have released something known as Swift UI. Okay. Swift UI is a new framework mm -hmm. which is a declarative way of programming user interfaces in you know Apple environment. Oh, so amazing. you have watch, you have iPad, you have Mac OS, mm -hmm. you have iPhone, iOS. Mm -hmm. So with Swift UI, you basically have to write once uh -huh. and make a little bit of adjustments and this will run across all your platforms. Oh, so it's a cross-platform. It is a cross-platform framework only for Apple environment. That's amazing. So the point is, mm -hmm. this time I'm definitely sure Apple will be going with Swift UI uh -huh. on iPads using Playgrounds. Oh, okay. So, Makes if sense. you want to apply for WWDC this uh -huh. year, that is the next year, 2020. Yeah. So make sure you're up with Swift UI skills. Make sure you're good with, you know, Swift in general. Mm -hmm. And you can start thinking of creative ideas right now, even because uh, for 
for the past couple of years, Apple has not changed their topic. Like they have kept it just a generic uh, idea. Yeah. You have to come up with any generic idea mm -hmm. in you know not too complex but not too simple also. Mm -hmm. So they only just fix on the technology part. For mm -hmm. this time, it was just you have to use playgrounds on iPad or on Xbox. Okay. So, so being a WWDC scholar, do you know do you know of any small gimmicks that people can use that might increase the chances of getting into WWDC? I mean. Apart from the app app, uh, app submission you have to do, mm -hmm. you have to actually write a couple of articles as well. Okay. So just make sure you give time to that also. Uh -huh. Because okay. when you're doing your submission, they would ask you a bunch of questions. Which mm -hmm. technology you used, why you used that, how you used that. Yeah. So what happens usually is people uh, usually put all, all their time into the application. That uh -huh. is the actual app. Mm -hmm. And they do not do a lot of work on that part. Oh, but okay. Apple executives and you know people I met there mm -hmm. who work for Apple and just evaluate our submissions, yeah. they actually told us that it is equally important to oh. you know focus on that part as well. So that is something which people usually miss. I see. Cool.